two meds and a big old bottle of wine, which actually only has two glasses left in it. And as the title says, this is after vodka and cranberry. Thank you. E. Anywho. In the party Dr. with me. <laughs> the cranberries sound very nice. Oh, yeah, they do the vodka and cranberries. <laughs> very nice. Very nice indeed. It is. Well, no, because Elena went through and was kind of like, well... Here's some vodka. <laughs> well, no, she went through. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just Russian. Right? <laughs> that, that's, no, yeah. She just looked at you and went, here, try this. <laughs> and maybe, maybe with not so much the accent, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't stand no chance at all. No, I didn't. I have putty in her hands. Mm -hmm. You uh, probably really are. I really <laughs> am. There's no... I, I mean, yeah, this isn't a metaphorical thing. This is short, sweet, to the point. I will do whatever I need to do for Elena. Okay, so, let's see here. What is tonight? Oh. Including going above and beyond and selling all the other ladies' cars. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the bad, bad. I swear to God it is. Alrighty, so, uh, yes, this is Mez and a big old bottle of wine. Uh, caveat, the wine's already been opened. Okay, so... Earlier today, prior to the stream, we actually tried a Russian blue Moscato. Now, fun fact, in the United States, there is a ban on all Russian goods, which is why all the gun tubers went like batshit crazy because all the AK parts were done. They honestly thought that they had missed out on what is it 7.62 by 39 i believe is the ak right yeah it's the 7.62 yeah. by 39 7.62 yeah by 39 uh you don't even have to include the by 39 oh. that's only for that's only for people who know what in the hell you're talking about right but the 7.62 by 54 is the 308 round that they would pump out of the m60 also known as when i was on active duty, wearing a younger man's clothes, my baby, the M60, um, which, <laughs> oh, dude, I love the M60. There was a reason why when we played COD, that you played I with would, the M60. I, oh my God, that was my baby. Because when I was on active duty, it was my baby. Um, yes, and when I was on active duty, I run much the same as I did, as I did in Black Ops 2. Yes, yeah, which was. DSMGs. No, it's just sad. No, I was not uh, an SMG specialist in Black Ops 2. Oh, I was a combat pistol go. specialist. No. Nonetheless. And I was also a FN FAL specialist. And an M8A1 specialist, which is the equivalent to the M4 modified. Right. Um, yeah, because I know that you guys use the B. No. Sorry, I was the one that got you into running and gunning with the Scorpion Evo, but that was just because that little gun was in that game was just so much fun. Right. Well, I mean, okay. So in real life, okay. So all jokes aside. In real life, I ran the M60, the first gen M4, and a 1911. That is what I carried forever. And then Sig did this little, I'm going to sleep with the secretary to get R45 ACP because Spec Ops pretty much, don't get me wrong, 9mm ammo has come a long, long way. But most Spec Op units still use a 45 ACP so they would 
a SIG put me in a P220. And I was in a very bad, bad land with very bad, bad people doing very bad, bad things to them. Um, and I found myself in a situation where my primary had gone dry and I needed for the first time to ever reach for my secondary, which for the first time ever was a SIG P220, which is the 45 ACP variant of the 226 that everybody knows and loves oh so dearly. And I pulled that thing out of the mud, out of my hip holster, and as I was bringing it up on target, I specifically remember going, please let this work. <laughs> I, I squeezed the trigger, and the weapon went bang, and I went, oh, dear God, thank you. <laughs> you, you had one of those... Uh, if this don't work, I'm so dead <laughs> moments. <laughs> Literally so dead moments. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that I, was pretty much every moment I was in. Ever. Oh, I know. I remember. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it was kind of funny. Okay, so the reason why Mez and a big old bottle of wine, which actually isn't a big old bottle of wine, it's actually a normal bottle of wine. because again, It's actually Mez. It's Mez and an empty bottle of wine, to tell you the truth, because well, there's only no. like two glasses left. So, yeah, that's empty. Well, no, because I have <laughs> look, one look, in look, my look. cup. I yes, have I know, one in my cup. <laughs> that don't matter. That's like driving around with your gas light going, ha, oh, I can still make it. <laughs> Not that I've done that no. this week ever in a 2001 but Jeep Wrangler, but yeah. <laughs> At least it's an 01. Exactly. Could be the 89. <clears throat> oh, God, yes. I, I mean, the 89 straight six uh, Jeep square light. Yeah, no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> right. So what am but I going to no. play? The reason why I went through and I'm on so late was because Elena went through and invited me to her son's house. Oh, yeah. I wanted to play something new. Could all got quiet. Um, so I went through and I got to spend the evening with Elena and her son. Grazie. I, That's always I was a big step happy. in the right direction. I, I, I was elated. I was. So, as I went through and stated before, last night was the Group 4 Spa Race, which I think ultimately at the end of the day, I'm going to end up in the... Group for Mustang for that daily race if I decide to do it. You see, every time that I think about not signing with Ford, <clears throat> they just come back to bite you in the ass because it's Ford. Right. So, so we we all know that I went through the uh, bankruptcy process, right? Remember me telling you that when I did, I my agents, my bankruptcy agency, told me to close my former bank accounts because they would only close them anyway. Right. Well, they didn't close my bank accounts until like Thursday. Wait, what? Right. It gave my bankruptcy the whole process and it in February. I started it May of last year and the agency told me immediately within the first week that they're of my papers being signed that they were going to close my bank account that's just how it works and the bank had not closed that particular bank account until last Thursday no, with right. the bank account being $42 overdrawn so they closed the bank account with no way to get their money back Which is kind of funny seeing as, you know, I just <laughs> filed bankruptcy on them too, so <laughs> go figure. Alright, so let's see. 
So next week's daily race is a Laguna Seca. In the group three. In the group three on hard tires. Now the nice part about it is, is Cabal, who is in the party with me, on the stream, will go through and probably host races in the lobbies. Hang on a second. Um, I was so, thinking about it, but I don't know if I'm going to leave, have ever like an Adwan I know will be able to join, but I don't know anybody else that will be able to because you seem to have issues. And <clears throat> what? I have issues, but here's the thing. Okay, so the reason why Kadal has given up on the sport mode daily races, and it's 100% justified, is because there are a lot of rammers, there are a lot of people that will try to gain a position at all cost, even if that means destroying your race. And your rating, and your driver's rating, and your safety rating, and yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I totally get it. Um, with that being said, if you go through and you create your lobbies, and I believe this in my heart of hearts, if you create your lobbies, they will come. Okay, will anybody get a boost in the driver rating? Absolutely not, because there's only one there, there's only one division of this sim that allows you to increase your rating, and that's in sport mode. In the online lobby mode, though, it doesn't matter what your rating is, and you've heard me say this before in previous streams. I, at this point in time, I have a driver rating of B and a sportsman rating of S. I give two shits about that because those two things don't dictate what kind of racer I am. Cadal, who I hold in very high regard, who I personally believe is a 10 times better driver than I am, has currently got a rating of what, DB? DB, yeah, well, I was uh, CS. On my way to being a B rated, and this was after not being able to get at a D for what? A month. Year? Yeah. And after two events where people were just booking pit bulls around the track, playing Crash Up Derby everywhere I went, I was back to being a DB driver. So, yeah. I mean, the race, the week started off perfect. I got a first place in my very first race of the sea, of this week's races, and I was mm -hmm. thinking it was going to be, and I was pretty optimistic about the outcome of this week's races until day three. All right. I'm going to make some noise in your ears, so. That's fine. I'm on Laguna Seca, so the first car that we're going to take out is Roman. The Viper. Nope, Roman. Well, the Viper is... Sorry, that's the car designed for that track. The track was designed for that car, one or the other. Okay, so what is Roman? Roman is a 2016 Ford GT Le Mans Spec 2 test car. And this is the car that is going to set the Well, that's the good, bar. because I was about to say, I didn't think Rome has any cars actually built for this <laughs> racing game. <laughs> No, wait a minute. Well, I mean, one could make an argument that Ferrari is close enough to Rome that they could claim it. But Rome and Roman are two totally different things. Okay, so... What do they do yeah, to Roman? The Romans oh, dear lost. God. Okay, so for We're BLP... In, uh, there it is. For BOP, they take away 89 horsepower, and they add 100... No. What? They add Probably four, closer to 200 pounds. No, 410 pounds is what they add to the Ford GT Le Mans spec test car. That seems like an awfully lot of weight. That seems like... I swear to God, Polyphony has got a thing against American cars. Um, does that... 
surprise me? No. As it's a Japanese company, it probably right. does. And I mean, we kind of did nuke them <laughs> twice. <laughs> so. We're we're not being we're not being. Uh, no, you nuked them twice. Yeah. We're we're not uh, being like racist to the Japanese. It just is what it is. Oh no 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 no! And I'm not being racist towards them in any way, shape, form, or fashion. I mean, some of my favorite women are Japanese. Yeah, but they're just porn stars that you see on Pornhub. So I mean, does that well, really I don't count? Know Pornhub, but. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and to tell you the truth, I don't like Japanese porn stars. They over and yeah. over. I like yeah. Japanese women. I like the culture, of Japanese. Women. Ah, stop! Oh, dear God. Okay. It's like so I like for... sophisticated cultured Chinese women too. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, Laguna Seca is an actual track, and the way that you see it How in you GT7, handle the corkscrew? Uh, poorly, if I'm honest. Oh, come on now. Uh, don't be honest. Lie about it, for fuck's sake. Yeah, no, no, no. It was bad. It, it, it was the bad, bad. Well, I'm not watching, so you were supposed to say it was the bestest of best corners, and then when I turn around and watch later, you go, you mother trucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but we've been friends long enough and been through enough stuff together that, yeah. Truth in advertising, brother. Truth in advertising. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> One thing I've got to give the test car. Eh, I missed that point. Oh no, no, stop spinning out. You stop that. Behave. One thing I gotta give the test car is when it takes off, it takes off. It takes off, oh my god. Okay, so. Earth, for that's what I was those that are not familiar with the Ford GT, the Ford GT is a remake of the Ford GT40, which was. Okay, so, oh dear lord, I'm in the gravel. Anyway, um... On Laguna Seca? On Laguna Seca. Uh, oh my god. So, the gravel on Laguna Seca has a very similar, uh, clutch your car and hold it down as Big Willow. Yeah, but here's the thing, with Laguna Seca... There I is hope of getting back on the track. Yes. I mean, it doesn't suck your car in. Speaking of Big Willow, I, you know, I haven't driven that since oh, the yes. air came in. And I think I have a license or a challenge to finish there with the Corvette. And I think that in VR and in, first, in my sim pit, I think I could get that Corvette challenge. I think I could get the under 113. Six that it needs. I mean, I was doing it in 113.9 and 113.8 with just the wheels, so. That being said, do I have the patience to hook everything up after I do my dishes? Probably yes. Not. I'm really thinking about just. Shit, quits, period. Oh no, don't spin the tires, that's the bad bad. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I have always been one to say I have never been a quitter. And he's not gonna quit now. And the garden. But I think I might retire from streaming. And so maybe on your own channel. But we've already established the fact of when I am streaming on my Canadian special kind of soldier brethren. 
don't get out there. Just oh. emphasis on the special nowadays. Oh shit, I'm nowhere near the same body type as I was when I was on active duty. Okay, no, so... I am actually, no, I'm pretty much the same, I just got, you know... Really? I'm you now, haven't been on active duty how long? And you're really going to play uh, that? Well, I'm 43, so 21 years. Okay, so yeah. nice to know Canadians can bullshit just like Americans. Uh, well, I was also mm -hmm. a different rank when I was on active duty, so there we go. My body type doesn't have to be. Like, I'm pretty much the same build now as I was then. Uh, the only difference is, is I have better, uh, huh, what's the word? Not cardio. I have better ventilation now. Yeah, I was about I to say, I know better. you don't have better cardio. <laughs> I can breathe better. I ain't smoking two packs of cigarettes a day and an ounce of fucking pot a day. Well, no, <laughs> because, yeah. And I used to smoke that much pot when it was illegal. Yeah, but you were spec up, so we kind of got a blink check. Well, uh, <laughs> the funny thing was, is my CEO says to me one day, he says, you, uh, you pay, you, like, literally failed your drug test. And I'm like, what was in my system? He's like, marijuana. All right. Next week, he looks at me and he goes, you failed your drug test again. I was like, oh, so what was in my system? He said, way too much coke. I was like, okay, which would you rather? <laughs> Wait, you did coke on active duty? Oh, shit, yeah. All the time. Oh, dear God. Okay, so, Roman, I got him 130. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Roman has got a I did get a blank check. <laughs> Yeah, you got a blank check. So in the, the end, they what said, the... yeah, just stick with the pot. You're a much nicer person. Okay, so Roman's got a girlfriend named Veronica. But Veronica doesn't have a manufacturer preference. So, and, okay, so Aspen's our little man's, or my eldest. The R8 2015 is jet plane. My middle child. 2019 is his girlfriend. Z4 is not coined. In case, in case you all haven't figured it out. Maz has got weird kitten. monikers for everything. There's a widow man. Widow man. Me. Roman. Widow man. Me. Me. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, so the Lamborghini is Munchkin, my daughter. So where do I put Veronica? Somewhere Veronica. close to Archie, one would think. Well, so if I went closest available alphabetical name it would actually be Nissan because Elena's got both the Toyota. Yeah, I love her that much. I gave her three race cars. Anyway, uh, so I've got the Nissan. Uh, does she watch your streams? No. Uh, Has she liked and subscribed yet? No. Um, <laughs> Have the rest of you? No. Come on, people. <laughs> Let's get this shit together. <laughs> okay, again, the shameless Thanks for the lead up. It was perfect. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> God, I gotta pick better friends. Uh, <laughs> no, this is the best the best friend you could possibly have for this particular channel. <laughs> okay. You couldn't so, get better. Okay, so I need you to pick a number. I'm going to, in alphabetical order. I've got three slots. I need you to pick a number between one to three. Three. Four, 
Okay, so that puts Veronica in the GTR Nismo. What year? Uh, 2013. Okay, uh, the 18's better, but yeah. Wait a minute, I thought the 18 was a Group 4 car. No. Nope. Huh? <laughs> I could be mistaken, but no, I don't think so. I'm pretty what? sure I used it in Dragon Trail last week. Was that a Group 4 race? I don't remember. No, that was a Group 3 race. Because I tried it with the McLaren BMW, so... I run the race with the Porsche. Because I couldn't get around it with the WRX, and I'm not talking Group 4s. So... Okay, so... Which also means when I'm done here, and when I mean here, I mean within all of the family testing for next week's Daily Race B, I need to Which get Veronica. She knows that I'm going to now log on when I'm done with these dishes because I have to steal the settings. Of Laguna Seca, you should already have. Actually, I know you've already got this race saved. No. No, I only ever save two races at a time. I always overwrite the race for the next week with the next week. What? What? No. Yes. No. That's exactly what I do. I only have two saves. I hate my screen clustered with stuff. I don't like picking through 30 lists of, okay, this is this week's, this week's race. When I could just pop into somebody else's lobby, steal their settings, and save over top of last week's group three race. It's efficient, clean. Well, the car that you picked for Veronica is definitely a lot less twitchy than the car for Roman. Um, yeah. That was the 2013, you said? Yeah. Right-hand mm. drive, left-hand drive, right-hand drive. I think all the GTRs, regardless of the year, are right-hand drive. The 18 is a left-hand drive. Really? Yes. Because that's I went. Ooh, I can drive this one. <laughs> and I don't know what version. Um, there was another guy on uh, PSVR2 <sighs> who had the the yellow Nissan, the GT500, and his GT500 was left-hand drive. My GT500 is right-hand drive. How did that happen? I don't know, but I want his version. This thing is twitchy. The 2013? Yeah. Uh, I haven't driven many of the Nissans, you know, um, which patch was it, 2.6? 1.26 <laughs> I think I was driving Nissan before 1.26 and then after 1.26 I think I switched to that's when I signed up with Genesis mm -hmm. uh, might have been 1.20 because I think 1.26 is when I switched away from Genesis because they moved it but it was one of the updates I was driving Specifically driving the uh, Nissans, like, to the point where I bought the Skyline Silhouette. Yeah, I remember that. That was just basically as, the, as I started in the game. And, you know, for all intents and purposes, and I still stick stand by my guns in this matter, is if you're just getting into this game or just getting into sim racing, the Nissans are probably some of the easiest cars to drive. That being said, I'm not sure how they handle the new physics model, but because I haven't driven them, any of them since the new physics release. 
So, might be something to test out when I decide I'm gonna fold down my chair and join Mez's game and steal all the settings. Because that's what Cadal does. Yes. Why? Because he's Canadian. Not that I'm stereotyping. Canadian is into a bunch of setting stealing individuals. That would be no pile. Uh, the reason why is because it's just simpler. Why do <laughs> yeah. I have to go through all that monotonous, tedious, okay, this is what it is. Let me save all these settings, and then, oops, forgot to do that. Now I have to go and redo that, and then save all these settings, when I could just steal Mez's. Because that was the whole point behind pointing him to the early listings for the daily races of the week. That way, I could just steal his races settings, because I know he'd set them up for me. What a guy! Was that uh, knowing your buddies? Yes, that is what you call knowing your buddies. In this case, that's what you call knowing your brother. Yeah. I love my little brother to pieces, but uh, hey. He's not Mez. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, let's make it all sentimental. That was not sentimental. That was just the truth. I don't know. So, that being said, have fun. I'm going to town, brother. I am way now, I used behind. To tell, I used to tell him to go ham. Well, actually, he used to tell me to go ham. And then I'd look at him and say, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and, heard ass, motherfucker, go ham. No. And then he'd go, well, you lied, because that was ham 22 and 2 combat night. Right. I, was, I wasn't ham. These guys sucked. You should have yeah. been in the lobby. You should have been in the lobby where uh, me and Smokey and Steel Tiger made the whole lobby rage quit. So we were in raid in oh, Black Ops 2. Mm -hmm. And we got the lobby glitch. Okay, so their team spawned in with a full team. We spawned in with three. Me? Steel Tiger and Smokey. That's it. That's all we got. To preference how the round went, Buddy had himself set up on the money room side, facing the hallway, with an LSAT, a shield, and a target finder. Effective strategy. <laughs> Effective strategy. Unfortunately for him, I happened to be working on the TAC-45 at the time. Trying to get it diamond. So, I was akimboing the TAC-45 with the extended mag. Yeah, so... Anyway, the history of Black Ops is there's this funny little thing, and it's called I can hear you when I kill you. Just for a split second. Mm -hmm. those, those people who play COD games and most of those style games know exactly what I'm talking about. And what I'm oh, I know. So, I run up, and I am running through this guy's death hallway of LSAT and shield and so stick a grenade to the shield he stands up the back away two rounds from each gun to the head and his kill was how in the hell did he out shoot my LSAT <laughs> I didn't I just had better aim Next few minutes later, who sat back up, perched the exact same way in the same hallway, who died the exact same way. Same guy. In the end, they reported me for cheating. He's using a name bot! Alright, so, first off, one, I don't even know how to use a name bot. Two, I don't know where to go to find the programs. Three, 
it was back on what the PS3. Uh huh. So yeah. <sighs> no idea. No clue. But then, stop and think of it, and I was also only like 30. <laughs> Alrighty. My reaction times when I was 30 was a lot better than there now. Oh, right, I need a light. Because, you know, PSVR doesn't work in the dark. <sighs> Alright. This is done, controllers are charged. All right, VR. Give me my pass through screen. You know, there's a lot of people who have no idea what the pass through button is for. One thing that I truly think PSVR did perfectly. So first things first. Gotta get the screen here. Shut off this computer controller because you did it me. Alright, now. Set my play area again. No, not really. <laughs> okay, so Veronica, also known as being had the potential to beat Roman's time had I actually been able to drive that car proper. Okie dokie, let's see here what kind of mess does Mr. Mez have going on. So now I am in one of the little, little man's cars. That didn't smell like that when I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my eyes are watering, even in VR. Can you see it again? No, I cannot. Oh. Somebody already has. Of course it was a success. Yeah, I'm not live at could all at could all YouTube, but that's normal where I stream. Okay, so Little man is a second faster than what Roman was. This is the B race for next week, right? Yeah. Alright. Classify that as stolen settings. Alright, so what have they done to my poor old baby? Drop it from 678 horsepower down to 508, and run it from 2,844 pounds to 29.85. Oh yeah, right. I forgot how long this pit is. <coughs>
Hello, Gravel, my old friend. Hello, it's Gravel, nice to be stuck my here old once again. <laughs> it's nice yes. to talk to you again. <laughs> behave like this. You can handle much better than this car. Your house? <clears throat> uh huh. No, we're not taking the Lamborghini. I will have her take the McLaren BMW. I don't like this having to start in the pit every time. It's kind of a nuisance. Give me my rolling start. So I don't have to worry about this inevitably. Not inevitably, but. Terribly long pit line. Pit lane. Not fine. Uh, Ooh! Is that a police helicopter? It's black and white. Wait, what? What? On the lab? On the track, yes. Okay, so at this point in time, little man is my best time at a. 129.3, which is a little bit more than a second than my best time in Roman. Oh, hey. cut that too soon. Next up, uh, let's go with a little bit. What are you doing over there? <laughs> Nothing. N n never mind. I'm about to be on the same track with you. We're about to find out. <laughs> Okay, so the Aston Martin is my eldest, aka Little Man, his eldest, Whittle Man, my grandson, is in the race car version of Roman, which is the test car version of Whittle Man. Watch out for the snossages. Dude, they are literally launching me across the map. They really do? Okay, well, now I'm sideways. So, that means a new car. That's my goal. Get around okay. the track without being sideways. What am I going to drive? I'm going to drive the 2018 GT3 Nesmo. How many laps is this race? I believe this race is five. So the whole damn week is nothing but bumper cars. Pretty much. Yeah. So, <clears throat> if I didn't quit playing sports mode last week or the week before, this week would definitely have killed me. Oh, dear God. What'd you do? There is a chance I might have made an error.
No, wait a minute. Have they changed the physics that bad that I can't get around that corner where they're going into the gravel now? Do you believe VR takes all the fun out of the corkscrew? Wait, what? VR takes all the fun out of the corkscrew. Why? Because everything's in 3D. Oh. <clears throat> There's no chance of oversteering. There's no chance of understeering. You just drive it. Okay, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for me, were you? Uh, sure, let's go with that. Oh, well, I thought it was. Oh, wait a minute, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wine. <clears throat> Why not? Okay, around this, not this corner. Let's see if we can get this corner right. Again, all of the breaking points that you used to know, no longer apply. Well, and you want to know, this is why I can never get any faster. Because I do not apply breaking points. Like, I don't pick reference marks. And I should pick reference marks. Yes, you should. But I don't. And the simple reason for that is, uh, you'll hear me say, ah, oh, I've missed my line. Playing in VR as much as I have now, Yeah, just no. Like once I drive this track enough with specific cars, I will naturally pick fast lines. Mm-hmm. And then I would start to improve my brake timing. But do I sit there and say, well, you know, I got to turn in at the shoulder of this particular curb here and I must be braking by a little past that number board? No. I don't do it because I can't do it. My brain don't function that way for this sort of thing. I could do it when I was driving without the VR headset. Mm -hmm. and, and people would say, well, you know, it's it easier to pick your breakpoints all the time if you have, you know, you could physically look at your mark. And that is true. <laughs> But I don't really have time going full speed to take my eyes off where I need to keep my car. Uh-huh. Whoa! And then do that. Let's go. That was kind of interesting. You had messed that up so much that they ghosted you. Hmm? I'm spectating. Oh, your spectacles? I'm spectating! Well, you're spectating in the wrong car. Considering, what, four laps in this car on this track? Yeah, but here's the thing. I can actually look at all of your data. 
while you're running. Oh, that's good because I sure as shit can't. Okay, let's see what you can max out on. Okay, so let's see what you can max out on at the end of this right away. So your max speed at this point in time, 139 miles an hour down that stretch. Off a bad exit, mind you, too. Mm-hmm. And that's not much better. Let's turn my Porsche. Just cause. <clears throat> that's a nice car. It looks really good in VR. That's not promising. There we go. Now I'm good. Alright, I guess I should probably push the car on the first lap to see how it's going to react to the certain corners. Uh, theoretically speaking, yes. Now, when you say first lap, you mean the out lap or the first first lap? No, my out lap. I'm gonna go with this, not it. Now that I've been playing in the gravel. Mm-hmm. This is going to be my last night of Mez and a big old bottle of wine. Tomorrow night will probably be Mez and a big old pot of Earl Grey. What did they get for your top end on the straightaway? Uh, 139. That's not bad for a Porsche. No. Uh, let's see. 
Unless he didn't check the yeah. course, and he's just giving me the rehash time from the last car I was driving, because they were mm -mm. the same. No, it was 139. Alrighty, so let's jump in the Vipper. Even though it takes damn near 200 horsepower away, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got the same horsepower as the Group 4. Okay, so the one thing that I've noticed is gonna expect to What are you spectating now? You. Uh, why for? Because I can actually learn a lot about a truck by watching you. I don't know how that works. May not work for you, but it works for me. Except for when you damn near decide to French kiss the wall. I didn't, though. <laughs> <clears throat> I think I was on, set, on track to beat my 129, too, though. What car are you going to drive? That way I'll drive it if I have it. And then you can learn better. Mm, that's just it. I haven't made up my mind yet.
Oh shit. Shit, talk your mushrooms. What's really bad about that is gonna ruin this lap too. Mm-hmm. In case you're wondering, I'm not caring about this lap because... It's already fragged. Hmm. Mildly. No penalty for that, though. And how did you manage that? I didn't jump on the gas. I waited until all four of my tires were on back on regular asphalt, race asphalt, before I applied full throttle.
that corner seemed to take forever to turn. Oops. That ends this lap. <laughs> now let's see if I can push the next corner. Have you learned what not to do? He's always saying in his stream that I'm a better driver than he is, but I'm definitely not. I would like to get him up here and sit him in my uh, racing sim in the VR and say, have at it. Tires on the ground there for a second.
I think Mez fell asleep. So, for those of you who might possibly be watching, <coughs> I do believe our host is graciously either gone silent, muted his headset, forgot to unmute it, or fallen asleep.
That was a bad shift. <laughs> He's asleep. Oh, he just dropped his controller. That might just wake him up. Uh, no. No. He didn't drop his controller, but he sounds awake now. Actually, I am hurting bad. That's what happens when you fall asleep. No, it wasn't that I fell asleep. I overdid it in the gym. Well, now, yesterday. So, yeah, he didn't learn anything spectating because all he managed to do was fall asleep. Gentlemen, 127 121 is the best possible oh, steering wheel. Why are you going all wonky on me? Okay. Is the best possible time that I think I could probably get in the Porsche. Oh shit, I did fall asleep. You did? I did. Was I snoring? No, you were actually relatively quiet, with the exception of the occasional <laughs> Other than that, you were fine. And nice. I just blame that. I just blame that on Simon. I figured oh, he was okay. up hissing in your ear.
But yeah, so this is uh, a GT7 and Mez and a big old bottle of. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, because I am your host, Kadal. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the stream. <laughs> um, yeah, because I'm yeah. literally getting ready to end the stream because I was kind of like, oh my god. Yeah, so that was the stream. I um, hope everybody enjoyed it. Remember, <laughs> lap them and slap them. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, and speaking oh my god. on lapping and slapping, make sure you slap that like button. And the subscribe button, because it helps us both out, believe it or not. If his channel gains traction, then my channel shall too. Yeah, because I'm constantly referencing you and all of mine. And hey, leave in the comments if there's any particular games that you want a stream on. I can actually stream on many games. <coughs> As Mess has pointed out. See us all in the comment section. Um, so Best yeah. lap ever. Three minutes and 49 seconds because I spent two and a half minutes trying to drive in the pit backwards so I could <laughs> smash into your car. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, I could get within inches. <laughs> really? Yeah, and then they'd reset me on the track. It's like, <sighs> I tried. Yeah. Alrighty, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream now because apparently my okay. So Elena invited me to her son's house, and we had we... a lovely cookout. I was gonna say, did you not do? Did you not mention that on the stream, or was that pre-stream? Ah, uh, no, I think I mentioned that on the stream. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was stream mentioned. Is. Elena and her son both are Russian, so by default, what do Russians always have in their house? Lots and lots of vodka. Exactly, and that was after three, four, or vodka and cranberries. And then I decided I wanted to come home and do mess and a big old bottle of wine. Take. <laughs> 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 so yeah because yeah that's a thing it's usually a steel tiger thing but yeah so anyway for future reference Mez you got um, my time put in is 127.920 oh. and mm -hmm. my time possible best in this particular car is 27 121 All right. and I very easily could have pulled it off but I mucked up on a couple sausages all good so in that case ladies and gentlemen next week's meadow is going to be the Porsche and I'm going to end the stream there how do you know next week's meadow